whether or not these uh, people in this town, in this criminal justice hookup that has uh, criminalized former uh, Mayor Lucinia Williams Dunn, whether they have dropped those charges. I want the whole world to know what this greedy group in this city did to the first black female mayor of this city who was elected by 63% of the people and who possessed a PhD degree, intellectual academics, pow, high and deep, PhD. And how one of our city council people schemed on her, infiltrated her camp, brought information out, turned snake on her, and went to the most renowned, and I say that not because of the reputation that the uh, law firm have at this time, I say that because of the historical uh, good that gave this law firm a renowned reputation. How they schemed in the back rooms and how they went out and plucked uh, user-friendly citizens and brought phony charges against the whole city council, except for May Darius William and Johnny Ford, to get their way, to perpetuate and perpetrate their greedy scheme. And how when they got the charges leveled against the mayor, how they held them over her head, until today, they still have her criminalized with an indictment warrant that lingers over her head and has gotten her arrested in another city in Virginia. And when the people from Virginia call them and say, we got her, they said, that's all right. Let her go. It's not worth us coming to get her. So therefore, the warrant will remain, but you all cut her loose. So she's criminalized now forever because anywhere she goes, anytime Mayor Dunn is stopped by a police officer and her live driver's license number or social security number is entered into the national NCIC computer, then this warrant from Macon County that was perpetrated by the Fred Gray Law Firm and Maydars Williams and that few user-friendly citizens that they used to go up in that court and tell those tales. That warrant will reach out and touch Mayor Lucille Williams Dunn. That is not only disgraceful, that is sinful. It is just absolutely sinful that people in our city, as greedy as they are, could be excused. As hateful as they are, probably could be forgiven. But to do to a well-qualified, capable, decent, respectful human being. What the Fred Gray Law Firm did to Mayor Lucinia Williams Dunn and to have the audacity, to my knowledge, to have that warrant still hanging over her head to keep her criminalized, that is a sin and a shame before God. How in the world do these people walk among you? And how do you allow them to walk among you? Having done that kind of thing to a black woman. 
and especially a black woman, the status of Mayor Lucinda Williams done. That woman has not done anything criminal. Yet, the schemes made it appear as though she had tried to use her office to influence power and control and self-gain for herself. May Doris Williams knew that not to be true when she took it to the Fred Gray Company. And I'd be willing to say, and I bet you I'm right, that the Fred Gray Company knew darn well that it wasn't right when they set out to perpetrate the legal scheme. And when the city council people, Lutalo, i.e. Louise Fields, Willie Louise Fields, and Georgette Moon decided that they would kick out the Sanders Law Firm that they had brought in earlier based on a change of vote from Mrs. Fields through coercion, I'm sure, from Mayor Johnny Ford at that time. When this new vote on the council developed, and the council decided to bring the Fred Gray Law Firm in to replace the Sanders Firm to put Fred Gray Sr. back in the driver's seat. All charges was dropped against I.E. Moon and Field. Is that not a scheme? to perpetrate a deal for personal gain.